Hey guys, it's Gameface here, and welcome back to another FIFA 16, um, pretty much a closed beta info update. Now, today I'm going to be talking about the career mode. It's not going to be about Ultimate Team. Last time I was on about um, Ultimate Team and that beta. But the reason why I'm going to talk about career mode more is because I've actually somehow got the beta for career mode. I don't know whether EA have purposefully given everyone um, the whole beta now for every single mode. But basically we've got access to all the different modes on the beta and that allows me to play career mode. And I've been playing it and I thought I'd bring you a bit of information about career mode now I've actually played the game and I know exactly what it's going to be like. So first of all you have the usual load up screen so we'd like the newspaper articles and things like that. I have to admit I thought it loaded up a bit quicker than usual, that might have just been me, I don't really know. Uh, but something I noticed before that was teams have a lot less money, I won't say specific amounts, um, if you are interested then I'll um, leave, leave comments in the comment section and I'll reply to them afterwards. And uh, yeah, basically I will say that PSG have less than 100 million, they've got uh, just over 80 million to spend, and teams like Man United I think have got about 30 odd million to spend, it wasn't that much anyway, they've decreased the amount of money that teams have to spend. And, and uh, yeah, that is a very bizarre thing to do. I thought they were going to increase the amounts to make it more realistic. Instead, they've decreased it. Hopefully that change, changes for the full game. I will be a bit disappointed if it doesn't. Also, when you load up the on the, like, the home page of the career mode, there's loads more options now. Uh, it just seems a lot more full on the home screen. So obviously you have the option to train players. That's a huge thing in career mode this year. And I think it will be as well for everyone playing. Um, and it was, it was something I thought was actually really good. I enjoyed playing the training sessions and um, training individual players. And basically I trained a couple of players and after one week they had gone up like one overall, a couple of them. Um, but basically you can train, I think it's five or six players um, every week, so once a week. Um, and then you have to wait another week until you can train a different set or the exact same set, whoever you want to train. And yeah, basically you just go through, it's like the training drills that you have on the um, different modes on the normal game. But uh, basically you just train one player and um, then they can go up on overall and you can see their progression on their overall as well which is good to see uh, but yeah it's very good I really do like the training option you can see their individual stats going up and also their overall going up as well which is very good and um, something else I noticed was that when you select your team and you've got your team management up it actually says below a, a little warning sign uh, that you have an un unavailable player either in your team or on the bench which is a very good little thing because whenever you go to like playing the match or simming the match it would always come up with that error saying that you've got to change your player so you can actually find out before you go to click on play match whether you have a player unavailable or not also they've extended something which I don't think many people will have picked up on on the beta but they've actually made it so you can now have 52 players at your club quite a lot of players I know and um, they've increased I can't remember what it was originally I think it was 40 or 41 something around that mark I can't quite remember so it's quite a large increase in the amount of players you can have which is very good because now you can loan out loads and loads of players and obviously you could have in loads of players if you really wanted to um, and there'll be things like um, the two year loans as well that you've probably heard about from other places I saw them in um, the beta they featured there and they had the short term loan they had the one year loan and then the two year loan and they were just different options on the loan page um, you just scroll across for them uh, that was a very good little feature I did quite like the look of that it's probably best using the two year loan yourself to loan younger players out rather than to get players in that's going to be a bit strange I think getting players in on a two year loan anyway moving on to other things like the loading side of it I know it might seem a very strange thing but people did used to get frustrated about how slowly the game loaded uh, different days and the emails I have to admit I thought it loaded the emails really quickly and the the days simmed quite quickly as well which was very good so um, that was that seemed to be a bit of an improvement that might have just again been because it was the beta um, and it just happened to load quicker because I had no other career modes or something like that um, but yeah that was something I noticed that it does load quicker for me anyway and um, another thing I noticed was the amount of offers that were going around for different players now I wrote some of them down because they were just so so strange there was unrealistic transfers happening all over the place Arteta to Watford Skirtle to West Brom Marcelo to Wolfsburg there was loads of different players going all over the place it did seem to be a bit out of character to be honest Suarez going to Bayern Munich and we're only like two weeks into the transfer window if that it wasn't very realistic the transfers that were happening around you and then the transfer offers that you received 
were virtually identical to the ones of FIFA 15, so that was disappointing. Uh, for example, I got an offer for Bonnie straight away. I did a Man City career mode just because they had quite a bit of money. And I got an offer for Bonnie straight away from Spurs. Uh, they always offer um, like 15, 16 million for um, Bonnie on FIFA 15. So that's a shame that they hadn't kind of changed it a little bit. Uh, it was clear that they just used the exact same uh, clubs that were wanting the exact same players. Again, that might change. That's just something on the beta. But it's again something I picked up on. Going back to the training of players, I thought it was actually really fun to play. I'm not a massive fan of doing the training uh, sessions usually, but I actually thought because you were playing with one specific player and you got three attempts at trying to um, get the right grade because they grade you based on how you, how well you did on like the score. Um, so I thought it was actually a really good little feature. It, it is quite fun to play, so it's not something I'd all, always sim. Um, you can sim all the uh, different training sessions if you want, uh, but you can actually play individual ones or sim individual ones, and I just thought it was surprisingly very good to play. So that's something I think people will use very often. It could be quite overpowered though, um, you have to keep an eye on that, and I'm sure that they'll probably have to change it at some stage. And also another little thing I picked up on, which is only a small thing again, but the fact that you can actually, when you buy a scout uh, for your youth academy, they are available straight away. There's none of that waiting for transit kind of rubbish. They are available as soon as you buy the, the scouts. And I thought, again, that's very good. We had to wait a couple of days until we got the scout from transit or some sort of rubbish excuse like that. Now, though, it's available as soon as you buy the scout. That is really good. You can go send him to different countries straight away and find yourself some players. So those are some of the different things I found from um, playing the beta of the career mode. And if you do have any more questions, let me know in the comments. Obviously, I'll reply as usual to them, and I'll try and let you know as much as possible. I obviously can't give loads away, again, because it is the closed beta. You can't show any real pictures or videos. The ones I'm probably showing at the moment, you might have already seen in the other information video that I did. Or they might be ones that EA have released themselves, or I've seen somewhere else, and I'm allowed to use them. So... Hopefully it's not like got too boring visually, but hopefully the information I've provided with, uh, for you has been good enough and you have enjoyed this. If you have and it's been helpful, then please go hit the thumbs up button. Also subscribe as well if you are new around here. I will be doing FIFA 16 content as soon as the game comes out. I basically do, I do career mode at the moment, but I'll also be doing ultimate team as well, I would imagine, uh, due to how good foot draft appears to be. So that is it guys, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.